Have you ever needed to access the Wi-Fi password on your Galaxy device? Perhaps you want to connect another device or share the credentials with someone nearby. While this seems like a simple task, it has always come with a small but annoying step. Having to manually enter your PIN or draw your pattern just to reveal a password. It felt unnecessary, especially since most modern Galaxy devices already feature biometric authentication methods like facial recognition and fingerprint sensors. Why couldn't we just use these methods for something as simple as checking a saved Wi-Fi password? Well, with the arrival of One User Interface 7.0, Samsung has finally addressed this issue. Before One UI 7.0, accessing saved Wi-Fi passwords required you to manually authenticate your identity using a pin or a pattern. Even though biometric authentication was already being used to unlock your entire phone, it wasn't available for viewing Wi-Fi passwords, which felt somewhat redundant. After all, your fingerprint or face is already being used to secure everything else on your device, so why not extend that same convenience to Wi-Fi credentials? One UI 7.0 solves this problem by allowing users to authenticate their identity through biometric recognition, specifically fingerprint verification, to access saved Wi-Fi passwords. This change might seem small, but it makes a world of difference in terms of convenience. Now, when you go into the Wi-Fi settings on your device and tap on the name of a saved network, you will be prompted to authenticate your identity using your fingerprint. Once authenticated, you'll immediately be able to view the password without the hassle of entering your PIN or drawing your pattern. It's a small change that saves you time, but it's one that's sure to be appreciated by many Galaxy users. Imagine the frustration of needing to share your Wi-Fi details, but being forced to unlock your device with your PIN every time. With biometric authentication now available for this task, you don't have to waste precious time. A simple fingerprint scan unlocks the information you need almost instantly. The decision to add fingerprint authentication to the Wi-Fi password viewing process is particularly exciting for those who rely heavily on biometric methods to unlock their phones. In the past, you could unlock your device with your fingerprint, but when it came time to access certain settings, you were still forced to fall back on the traditional pin or pattern. With One UI 7.0, Samsung has finally streamlined this experience, allowing users to use the same biometric authentication for multiple tasks across their device, including something as basic as viewing saved Wi-Fi passwords. This feature not only enhances user convenience, but also improves security. By using biometric authentication, Samsung ensures that only the device's authorized user can view sensitive information like saved passwords. This added layer of security reduces the chances of someone else accessing your private details, further protecting your personal information. As we continue to test One UI 7.0 and its benefits, everything seems to be running smoothly, and Samsung is on track for a public release in the near future. Early next year, users can expect to receive this update, which will bring these improvements to their Galaxy devices. For those who have been eagerly waiting for an easier way to view saved Wi-Fi passwords, this update is certainly something to look forward to. Ultimately, One UI 7.0 highlights Samsung's commitment to improving the everyday user experience, by listening to feedback and making minor yet significant changes like this, the company continues to refine its software to better suit its users' needs. While some may consider the ability to view saved Wi-Fi passwords using fingerprint authentication a small feature, it is just one example of how Samsung is enhancing the overall Galaxy experience. Thank you for joining us today as we explored this exciting new feature. We'll be back soon with more updates on what One UI 7.0 has in store. Until then, keep an eye out for the next big feature in the upcoming release. Samsung's Galaxy S25 Ultra is one of the most highly anticipated flagship smartphones of 2025. With its expected release just a few months away, this device promises to refine Samsung's already stellar reputation in the world of premium Android smartphones. In today's video, we'll dive deep into everything we know so far about the Galaxy S25 Ultra, from its release date expectations and price estimates to design changes, hardware upgrades, and much more. So stick around as we explore why this device could be a game changer in the smartphone world. Samsung is expected to unveil the Galaxy S25 Ultra in early 2025, likely in January or February. The company has a consistent track record of launching its flagship series at the beginning of the year, and this trend seems to continue. Rumors suggest that the unpacked event for the Galaxy S25 series could occur on January 22, 2025, which aligns with Samsung's past patterns. This date makes sense as it allows the brand to capitalize on post-holiday enthusiasm while steering clear of the CES 2025 event, which runs from January 7 to 11. If this timeline holds, the device could hit store shelves by the first week of February. However, there's another twist in the story. A rumored new addition, the Galaxy S25 Slim, might join the lineup. 
This ultra-thin model could either launch alongside the S25 Ultra or arrive later in April or May. Pricing for the Galaxy S25 Ultra is another hot topic. The Galaxy S24 Ultra saw a price hike earlier this year, but will Samsung dare to increase prices again? Reports suggest the 256GB base model of the Galaxy S25 Ultra could start at $1,299 with the 512GB and 1TB options priced at $1,419 and $1,659 respectively. These are the same prices as the current S24 Ultra lineup, but there's a catch. If Samsung faces challenges with its 3M production yields, this could drive up costs, potentially affecting the final price. Fortunately, Samsung typically offers multiple ways to save. Expect trade-in deals and carrier discounts to make upgrading more affordable. For instance, Herna offers like Verizon's $800 discount with specific plans or Samsung's trade-in credits up to $750 could extend to the S25 Ultra. So if you're planning to upgrade, keep an eye out for these deals. Now let's talk about design. The Galaxy S25 Ultra is rumored to maintain its premium titanium frame, first introduced with the Galaxy S24 Ultra. However, there's a significant tweet, rounded edges. This design shift is expected to give the S25 Ultra a sleeker, more ergonomic feel, reminiscent of the iconic Galaxy Note series. Leaked renders also hint at a rounded back with a straighter front, creating a subtle asymmetry for a fresh look. The dimensions are expected to measure 162.82x77.65x8.25 millimeters, making it slightly thinner and narrower, but a touch taller than its predecessor. Additionally, the phone will feature Corning's glare-free glass, further enhancing its durability and aesthetics. When it comes to color options, leaks point to four stunning shades, titanium black, titanium blue, titanium gray, titanium silver. Each color exudes elegance and continues Samsung's tradition of offering premium finishes. The Galaxy S25 Ultra is likely to retain its 6.8-inch dynamic AMOLED 2X panel, which has become a hallmark of Samsung's flagship series. This display will likely support a 1 to 120 Hz adaptive refresh rate, ensuring buttery smooth visuals whether you're gaming or scrolling. One area where we hope to see an improvement is maximum brightness. Samsung could enhance outdoor visibility by boosting the peak brightness beyond the current standards. This would be a welcome upgrade for users who frequently use their phones in bright environments. Cameras are always a highlight of Samsung's Ultra models, and the Galaxy S25 Ultra is no exception. According to trusted leaks, the device will feature a quad camera setup with the following specifications. 200 megapixel primary sensor, Samsung Isocell HP2, 10 megapixel telephoto camera, 3x optical zoom, 50 megapixel periscope telephoto lens, 5x optical zoom, 50 megapixel ultra wide sensor, Samsung Isocell JN3, while the primary telephoto and periscope lenses appear unchanged from the S24 Ultra, the new 50 megapixel ultra wide sensor promises significant improvements. The addition of this sensor is expected to enhance wide angle photography and low light performance. Eye driven enhancements will also play a crucial role. Samsung has been investing heavily in artificial intelligence for its camera systems, and we anticipate further improvements in image stabilization, portrait modes, and night photography. Under the hood, the Galaxy S25 Ultra is rumored to feature Qualcomm's Snapdragon 8 Elite chipset, promising lightning fast performance. This chip will likely be paired with 12 gigabytes of RAM in the base model, with a 16 gigabytes RAM variant also rumored. In terms of storage, the S25 Ultra might debut Samsung's latest UFS 4.0 four-lane storage technology, offering nearly 8 gigabytes slash sec speeds, doubling the performance of current UFS 4.0 standards. This upgrade will significantly enhance app loading times, multitasking, and overall efficiency. Battery performance is another crucial factor. The Galaxy S25 Ultra is expected to pack a 5000 mAh battery similar to its predecessor. While a larger battery isn't likely due to space constraints, Samsung could improve battery optimization for longer usage. Charging speeds, however, remain a question mark. While the device is rumored to stick with 45 watt wired charging, we're hopeful for faster charging technology to compete with other brands offering 100 watt or higher speeds. On the software side, the Galaxy S25 Ultra will likely launch with One UI 7.1 based on Android 15. This iteration of One UI is expected to bring new customization options, improved multitasking features, and tighter Galaxy AI integration. Samsung's focus on privacy and security will also take center stage, ensuring users have greater control over their data. Expect enhancements like better app permissions, on-device AI processing, and secure file sharing. 
A Galaxy S25 Ultra is shaping up to be an impressive device, combining top-tier hardware, refined design, and cutting-edge software. If you're currently using an older model like the Galaxy S22 or S23, the S25 Ultra could be a worthy upgrade. However, if you already own the S24 Ultra, the differences may not be groundbreaking enough to warrant a switch unless you're drawn to specific features like the new ultra-wide camera or the sleek rounded design. The Samsung Galaxy S25 Ultra represents the pinnacle of what Samsung aims to achieve in smartphone innovation. With its refined design, improved camera systems, and powerful hardware, this device is set to compete with the best in the industry. Are you excited about the Galaxy S25 Ultra? Let us know in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more updates on the latest smartphones. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.